This funky looking motherfucker behind me is the Church of St. Elizabeth, uh, also known as the Blue Church, for obvious reasons. It's blue! And uh, I was told it's supposed to be the same colour as the sky, nice. which as you can see is clearly bullshit. So um, it's called the Church of St. Elizabeth, but people know it as the Blue Church. But why is it called the Church of St. Elizabeth? Well, uh, up there on that mosaic uh, above the door is Saint Elizabeth. How are you? And she's got a she's got a cloak full of roses. So the story goes that she would rob food from the the royal kitchen and feed the the peasants in the area. And one day her husband said, "If I catch you once more, I'm going to knock your block off." So she kept doing it. And one day the husband caught her again with a full robe full of food. He goes, "Let me see your food in that robe." And she opened the robe, and it was full of roses. So um, she survived. Thank you very much for feeding William. Thank you very, 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 very. very Say it with Cadbury's roses. They're not for poor people. It's very nice of the Christian God to save this one rich lady instead of all the commoners and the peasants surrounding them. It's the world's shittest travel show Get your shit, it's time to go Get your fat ass off the floor And get outside the fucking door We're gonna meet new faces See new places Make faux pas Try not to be accidentally racist All of the equipment is shit The audio shit The video shit The general cinematography It's all shit So if you didn't know Now you know Tally ho Welcome to the world's shittest travel show What the fuck? It's a place, and you can go there, provided you've got some spare time, a disposable income, and an inner melancholy that you're trying to smother with endless trivialities such as unnecessary travel. In 2005, the Slovakian Tourism Board shit a nationwide collective brick with the release of the movie Hostel, which portrayed young backpackers getting tortured to death in a, a, a hostel. The arse fell out of the tourism industry because people were under the misapprehension that Bratislava is terrifying. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is a little bit, though. Ah, uh, yeah. To only know what kind of conversations these boys have. 9-11 was an inside jab. What? This is the shite guide to Bratislava. HISTORY TIME! Bratislava's been a, a busy spot for a while. Um, the first humanoids were actually rocking around here in the Paleolithic Age. Our buddy uh, Homo Heidelbergenes. That's the crack. And there's been settlements here since the Neolithic Age. It's a long feckin' time, lads. Forget about your political or national battles. Some poor feckers here had to fight the Neanderthals. Have you ever mauled a Neanderthal? My name is Paul the Neanderthal. Let maul. Bratislava's varied architectural styles gives you an appreciation of just how many peoples have actually lived here. You can stroll down medieval streets, past Gothic and Baroque buildings, and into Soviet-era squares that look like a Call of Duty level. The Soviets tore the place up, man. So one of the common themes in, uh, as you go Eastern Europe is that they have lots of areas that used to be the Jewish quarter. So uh, this was the Jewish side of town and when the Soviets uh, built their bridge they built it directly into the fucking town, into the synagogue, which is not there anymore. But there's an artist's impression of what it used to look like before the boys rolled in. Not just content uh, fucking with the Jews and knocking a synagogue. They also built the bridge directly into, uh, into where this church or chapel or whatever the hell it is here. They're not subtle. The Soviets are not subtle. I mean, like, imagine, imagine your granny trying to get across the road to mass. Do you know what I mean? In all fairness, like...
There's a, a lot of work going on in the area. There was a fire in 1811 that burned the place down and uh, they've been reconstructing ever since. Since 1811. Remind me never to hire a Slovak to work on my house. The site of the castle has been inhabited since the Stone Age. Um, when the Celts were here, it was actually, it was the Acropolis of a Celtic town. The first stone settlement uh, was built here in the 10th century and since then it's been remodeled by the, the Romans, the Magyars, anti-Hussite forces, a lot of people getting involved in it. I mean, it's a pretty sweet spot, great view. And in 1241, the Mongols tried to take the castle and they failed. Imagine looking out over the wall and seeing the fucking Mongols rolling up. Ring the bell, everybody up into the citadel Cause if the Mongols catch you chillin' life will be a living hell Every man who's still outside the castle is a sitting duck Cause Batu Khan is coming and you know the land don't give up The Mongols are coming The golden hell The Mongols are coming Sweeps across here The Mongols are coming We don't stand a chance The Mongols, the Mongols, the Mongols yes. Jesus Christ That sign might have worked on the Mongols but it ain't gonna work on me I'm going in. If Genghis can, then I can too. Look at me, I'm a statue. Then, in the Iron Age, you had the arrival of the Thracian tribes from down in the Mediterranean. Then after those guys, you had my boys, the Celts, uh, a tribe called the Boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. And then, they got driven on by the Germans, then the Romans popped up for a peep to see what the crack was. Saw all these mad German barbarians run around with their cocks out. So they said, we leave them to it. We'll chill on the other side of the river. And so the Danube then became uh, the frontier of the Roman Empire. Wow. You can almost picture the scene. The stiff upper lipped Romans over this side of the river totting as the barbarians do barbarian shit across on the other side of the river. You kind of have to wonder who was jealous of who, you know? Fair enough, the Romans had, you know, underground heating and shit. But the barbarians are more like the lads in third class in the Titanic, you know, downstairs, Jack and Kate getting pissed, doing a bit of dancing. What a laugh. I know, yeah. I'm chilling with the barbarians anyway. Let's see what's going on. Then in the fifth century, the Slavs rocked up. Uh, followed soon after by the Avars, who the Slavs politely told to feck off. Then the Bavarians popped round for a chat, only to be bowled on by the Magyars. And then for about another thousand years or so, uh, the place was just ruled by other general kings and queens. You know, scumbags. Whatever I said, whatever I did, I didn't mean it. I just want you back for good. What's the crack? What's the crack? What's the crack with you? So what exactly is the crack with the difference between Slovakia and Czechoslovakia? Well, Czechoslovakia was established in 1918 during the breakup of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And then during World War II, they split up again with the Slovaks choosing uh, hesitantly to join that bousy Hitler. That deal went down in the building behind me here. Following that terrible decision, uh, they reunited again after the war. And then on January the 1st, 1993, they broke up again with Slovakia and Czech Republic, now called Czechia. They're kind of like that couple everybody knows who just keep splitting up but they keep getting back together again because they love the makeup sex. Uh, that's grand, no? This square is to commemorate the Slovak National Uprising uh, during World War II uh, against the Nazis. Essentially, you had 50,000 citizens, not soldiers, just regular workers, regular men and women, who took up arms against the Nazis and uh, up to 50,000 of them left the city, headed into the woods to become partisans. Any village caught helping them? Well, you know what the Nazis were like. They either burnt it down or executed everybody in the village. Yeah, all this talk of oppression is making me hungry. Looks like we got a nice spot here to grab a bit of food.
Right, so we're going local at the moment. And um, what we have here is um, like a garlic soup in a loaf of bread. So you're essentially eating the bowl as you go. So you gotta be strategic in your, uh, in your eating. So it all looks pretty fucking good. Um, I think I should probably start on the soup before uh, the bowl withers away and disintegrates. So cheers. Yum, 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 yum. 150 for a glass of the local white wine which is uh, ideal for me I happen to like my wine uh, like my women uh, cheap and sweet so uh, Bratislav is definitely the spot shite guys goes down nice like a white wine running round the continent to document the zeitgeist minimum wage trying to survive for the high life if you want more then just click like and subscribe